Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to present to you the multiplication board bundle. There are four sheets here. I'm going to go through it quickly. Um, I'm also going to present the no prep way because I know like a lot of us are just like thrown into, ah, we got to teach. So I'm just going to show you how to present it to your kids and super simple, super easy. So the first thing you're going to have is the skip counting board. Very easy. Um, just have your kids skip count because that really builds the foundation to multiplication. So the order I like is generally ones, fives, tens, twos. But you know, you know your kids. I actually had one kid who went completely in order. So no sweat there. The next is um, to present to them the actual multiplication. But don't just present it as oh, one times one is two. I mean, that's fine. But Present it multiple ways. For example, oh, here is one group of one. And what I like to do is actually put them in sheet protectors. So then I'll have one group of one and then color in one. And then I'll have one group of two and then color over two so I could see one, two. Same thing goes for twos because now you're doing one group of one, one group of two. Two groups of two, two groups of two. And then as you're filling it in, your child actually sees the in other words, area growing. So just throw in as many um, words as you can. And sometimes the kids will understand, sometimes they won't. It, that's okay. Because what you want to do is when you actually, you know, give them word problems and they see the word of, like, oh, wait, my mom taught me that. Or when they hear the word area, oh, wait, I see that now. I remember it. So just build up the vocabulary, sneak it in as often as you can. Don't make it obvious at this point anyway, and super easy. Now, in terms at one point when they start doing it, hopefully they'll make the observation. If not, hold the two papers side by side, pose a simple question. Do you see anything that's similar, that's different? Like, oh my goodness, of course I see it. It's the same. The answers match up with the skip counting because that's really the goal. Skip counting is the foundation to multiplication. So once we finish this page, brings me to the second page. Oops. And the second page is, it's the same thing, just blank. And there are two ways you could use it. The first way is you could just call out a number, one times one, and have them fill in two. One times two, sorry, one. One times two, fill in two and so on and so forth till you cover the whole board. And that's fine because I purposely left it color coded so your students or children in this case can actually see the visuals. And you know what, it's different. It's scary or overwhelming. Let them have the visual aid. Another thing you could do is give them a challenge, say three times five, turn this into a grid. So then, the, then they'll have to count as hmm, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five three times five, and then here they'll fill in 15. So like I said, it's always about building on the concept and you can actually turn this into learning how to use a grid system. And the last thing I have for you, which is the same, it's just a completely blank board. So the same way you would use the color coded board, you can use this board. But I know a lot of you guys are home, stuck home with multiple kids. So I have a little bit of a fun activity turn this into a game. So I'll tell you how you're going to do it. And this way two kids can work together. And then the other kid is kind of not, you know, you don't have to worry about. So take the multiplication board and have one child call out any three multiplication facts and check them off. Then the other child will hold the whiteboard, fill it in according to the grid system. I could say seven times seven is 49. So they'll fill it in that spot. So one child, again, calls out three numbers. The other child will write three answers. And then they swap. So if I called out the numbers, I'm going to have to make sure it's correct. And then now that I have this board, I'm going to fill out the numbers. And the other child is going to call out three numbers. So again, it 